best way to do it, huh? Let's get a check, check. Right. Check, check. <laughs> All Morning right, Cup of Culture, check, check, I'm check, out check. here at the Maverick Arena, Self-Expression Music. I'm here with the homie, Hef hey. Ruby. Hef, do you remember the first, you probably don't remember the first time I saw you perform. I don't. But I remember the first time I saw you perform. Oh, it was everything. at, you, you know the loading dock, that club that was in front of the loading dock? Yep, it was Club Back Vegas maybe back then. Something it was, like that. It was that. Vegas at one point, but I don't know. Something oh, like that. Club X. Something. Club, X. Something like that. Club yeah. X. That was the first time I saw you perform, and it was with Black Sox. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I did a few shows with him there. Yeah. Yeah, I love that guy. How long have you been performing with Self Expression Music? Uh, Lamb and I started Self Expression Music in the last century. You started it with him? Yep, me and Lamb. Educate me. Yep, Lamb and I just knew each other from the neighborhood. Yeah. 20 years ago, Kearns, West Valley. Uh, and then we just formed a group called Expression. So before self-expression music, we were Expression, there was expression. Lab and I. Yeah, and then Fleet, Fleetwood. And then once Fleet came in, we kind of uh, formed self-expression music, turned it into a uh, little, you know, independent record label. So yeah, Lamb and I are the founders of What it. year is that? Uh, this is 99. 99. <laughs> Last century. Well, I had then, just well, moved to Oklahoma. Oh, really? Then early yep. 2000s, then it all popped off. Expression. We were a group for years. You never experienced that. Huh? No. Yeah. No. So when you met me, I was already just like doing You were just doing shit. half. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, Lamb's my brother. We started at CM together. So this wow. Is, yeah. So my history with Lamb, and I'll just touch on it, but I interned for him. Oh, nice. Like years ago in 2012, 2013, something like that. Um, but yeah, so full circle. Nice. So. What do you think is the most important thing about having a label and opportunity for artists like yourself? Well, it's allowed me to just do what I love to do. And I've always recorded with Lamb and SEM. Like, I've only recorded outside of Self Expression Studios. I, I, I couldn't even count on one hand. So, yeah, it's just allowed me to do my music, but not so much me, everyone else that is given opportunities to, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's just been great for the community, I think, but SEM. Yes. A lot of people, like, because yes. most labels have their crew, you know, and it's just, like, a select few people, and that's the way it stays forever. I feel like SEM is more of a conglomerate, don't you? Yeah. Whereas yes. we've had so <laughs> many. But there are different people of SEM every year. Yeah, like, this is different, true. I feel like I don't even know some some people that are SEM. Like, you don't even know I'm a founder. I, so there's people that are SEM that don't even know who I am. <laughs> Like, I just met Sierra, and she goes, hi, I'm Lamb's sister. And I go, oh, hey, I'm Lamb's brother. And she's like, oh, it's funny, I never heard of you. <laughs> never heard of you. I started this. It's amazing how Lamb brings the people together. Right? I know, he's so good. He always has been like that, too. Like just he, a yeah, community he's always, leader. He, I met him at a party. He had a, he had a recorder. Yeah. He recording, yeah, and he's always just... We had our booth underneath the stairs of his mom's house for years, so yeah. It was a Harry Potter club. Yeah, it's crazy, anyway. <laughs> I love that. What is yeah, one of your favorite memories of self-expression music? Oh, my goodness sake. Jeez, my knees. I, we had a great time doing the Warp Tour back in the early 2000s, 2004 to 7, I think. Uh -huh. Doing some traveling. It was just good times with the boys. Outside, plenty of shows. I can't even pinpoint one memory, to be honest with you, because it seems like one big, long One week. blur? Okay, know. okay, okay. What's your favorite uh, song with self-expression music? Yeah. <laughs> that is a good question. That's the question. Anything with a BPM? <laughs> no, no okay. I don't. I honestly, it could be like Winter Cold by Chaotic. Winter Cold by Chaotic. Chaotic's off, off camera, oh, yeah, but Chaotic's in the song. building, too. Song. I can't pick one of my songs. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you feel like about tonight? feels like home because for me it was like a family reunion seeing everybody yep. and I haven't seen it in a while so what feels like home at South Expression Music? Well the fact that we're here at the Maverick Center is a trip. Crazy. We've, been, we've been coming we were selling CDs outside in this parking lot for years you know like this is what we did we showed up out here when all the concerts came through. And just, you have your yeah. street team outside? Yeah and then we've also been to all the concerts yeah. we love here so it's cool to be in here actually just performing in the venue that we came to for our whole lives. That's crazy. <laughs> right? It's crazy. So with self-expression music, you have independent music, you have collaborations. What's something that we can look forward to coming up in the future from Half Dewey? You know what? I'm so busy being a dad that I don't even know like exactly what plans I have. But one thing I will tell you is that I continuously create. 
and I'll never stop. Like I'm always writing and recording, but I'm not so much putting my music out <laughs> for some reason. It's I make it, I basically make music <laughs> for my kids at this point. But no, I have so much. Like I have a ton of music that is never released. I just love the process. So what you can expect from me is I'll have new music all the time on hand, but I don't really have much plans to be honest with you. What are you performing tonight? Uh, I'm doing Living in Darkness with Chaotic, and then I have a solo song I'm doing, just something new I've written. Like I said, I'm always writing and recording, so I have, and I'm always emailing the people that I know want the music, but as far as everyone else hearing it, <laughs> I need someone to help me uh, promote Stop my Stop being stingy. Well, know, you, can, you, can, you can add me to your team to promote right, it, because right. that's not one of what my, I do. Kay and I were just saying it's not one of our, uh, it's not one of our strengths, you know? Hey, we're, we're that's chilling. why you need me on the team. Right, right, right. I'm part of the camp, too. <laughs> For sure. Self-expression music, Maverick Center, the Grizzlies game. Yeah. What's one thing you want to leave the people with? Oh, uh, hopefully I, hopefully I can piss somebody off tonight. <laughs> trying to offend multiple people. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try to inspire somebody, right? I think I that sounds that. good. I love that. Sorry, I answered all your you questions have. so horribly, but tell them where to find you, Hef. Hef Doogie, anything. Hef Doogie, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, iTunes. The majority of my music isn't on there, but you can find quite a bit on there. <laughs> so, SCR, self-expression music.com also, you can find me. So, yep.